Guys, that might give me back here for another video. Guys, this is a sniping series bonus video. I wanted to make this video right now before the night ended. I was going to make this my sniping series topic for tomorrow. But obviously tomorrow most likely will be the Super Bowl promo being released in the game. So what I want to talk to you guys about is how to prepare for the Super Bowl promo in Mutt 17. <coughs> so <coughs> obviously as you know... Um, today's the Pro Bowl, so tomorrow's the Super Bowl. So I'm not Super Bowl, but it's the start of the Super Bowl week. So usually how EA likes to do it is the start of the week for whatever event happens on Sunday, this usually started on Monday. Now I could be incorrect, and they could start it on Wednesday, or they could start it on Friday. But the one thing you can go off of is this: this expires on the 29th. So after today, this will expire. If that's the case, and you know Team of the Year is gone. Most likely, unless they put out a small promo before the Super Bowl, which I doubt they will, I'm guessing that Monday tomorrow will be the Super Bowl promo week. So Monday through Saturday, we'll have a Super Bowl promo, and then maybe Sunday will be the last day of the Super Bowl promo, and then, of course, it will expire the following Monday. And then after that, of course, we get Positional Heroes, we get Ultimate Legends, you know, maybe uh, Golden Tickets, so stuff like that. So my... My whole point in this video, guys, is I'm going to tell you right now, if you have a playoff card, if you have any of these cards right here in this set, hold on to them. Oh, so I meant like the elites. If you have the elites, um, not this set, but this set right here. If you have any of these elites, if you have any of the elites, period. Like, for example, if you go to the milestones, we go to the milestones right over here. And as you guys know, some of the... um. Playoff Legends got milestones today. Hold on to these players. Do not get rid of them. And the reason why is because they will be out of the game. One reason it could be they will be out of the game and it will be, you know, you cannot get them unless someone puts up on the auction block. So the prices will go up. So again, do not sell these players if you have these players. Hold on to them because all the prices can do at this point is go up. When they're taken out of packs tomorrow, they will, unless you, obviously, unless you get them from, well, I, I'm assuming they'll be taken out of packs because there'll be no set for them. But unless you, you know, already have them, you're going to have to buy them off the auction block. And without them being unlimited in packs, it's going to make the price go up. And plus, when they, if they release more milestones for these players, it's just going to add even more value to these players. Hold on to your playoff players. Second reason. You don't know. The Super Bowl promo coming out tomorrow or Wednesday, whenever it comes out, they the Super Bowl promo might have sets that you have to use playoff elite to complete the sets, which means the prices will go up even more. So hold on to your playoff players. If you if that's like my best suggestion, the gold players, I don't want really, to I don't think it matters, but the elites especially, because these could easily do nothing but go up in value. So if you have them on your team, you have them in your binder, hold on to them and wait to, for the Super Bowl promo to come out to sell those cards. So that's my video. This is what um this is the whole point of this video, guys. Just to tell you, if you have these playoff players, hold on to them. Do not sell them right now. Wait until the Super Bowl promo comes out and then sell them. So that's pretty much it for the video. So again, how to prepare. Hold on to any elite playoff player you have in your binder or on your team. Do not sell them right now. Um, other than that, to be honest, maybe sell the playoff golds because they probably will not, you know, at all. I mean, if you can, if you want to sell them, they're not really that big of a deal. Another thing is sell all your silvers and bronze, uh, silvers and golds, because these sets will be out of the game. And oh, so all your silvers and golds for these specific teams: the Patriots, Chiefs, Steelers, Texans, Raiders, Dolphins. All these silvers and golds that go for a lot right now, because of the fact these are in the game, they will plummet in price because there'll be no set for them. So definitely, actually, no, no mind, no mind. Do not sell them. And the reason why is because EA has to have some kind of set for these silvers and golds. Or else they're going to be worthless and the market's going to crash. There's going to be no point to you know, even have these cards out there if there's no set for them other than having them on your team. So I feel like EA might get a little sneaky and put out a set for these for these uh, sil uh, silvers and golds. Maybe we'll get Man of the Month February. That might be a possibility. So definitely I recommend holding your silvers and golds right now. 
don't do anything with them because there's always a possibility they release a set like a man of the month set again and those things skyrocket right back up in price so hold on to them right now is my opinion and wait and kind of see how everything goes because obviously they they could always release a man of the month set next month so right now take a step back and don't do anything with them so anyway guys that's pretty much it for this video if you enjoyed make sure you slap that like button subscribe to the channel if you're new and i'll see you guys in the next one peace out